My name is Sukhdeep Sachdev and I'm the Global CEO for Leader Life Sciences and I have the pleasure and honor to introduce uh, Nirmal Kumar. Uh, he's the Managing Director for Leader Life Sciences. Thank you very much. This year for Leader Life Sciences, we are quite excited to introduce uh, niche applications in the field of bioprinting and uh, genomic surveillance and non-contact liquid handling and a lot of innovative aspects that we're introducing to enhance research and diagnostics overall. I think though, what Nimal just explained to you is that um, you know, something different that we are taking uh, the healthcare segment is called bioconvergence. And bioconvergence is nothing but it's a, it's a, it's a combination of technology, biology, and computerized systems. So, you know, all together what we are looking at is like how the bioconvergence can help to improvise the solutions that we want to offer in the field of lab solutions. So the idea is to, our, as the title says, it's always uh, partnering in discovery and bridging the gap between science and technology. So we always uh, want to provide a comprehensive solution to our the end users, the researchers. So we understand their pain points, the gaps in, in the applications and the technologies. And enhancing their workflows is our ultimate idea. So as a scientific company, our ultimate intent is to make the life easy of a researcher or a, or a diagnostic facility to enhance the outcomes that they're looking for. Um, you know, like as a leadership team, we have been existing here for the last 30 years and uh, we've established Leader Healthcare as a company and as a group, we wanted to diversify, to look into other activities and, you know, the, the pandemic that automatically brought us into this scenario today. And we thought about it for a year and then I, I met the person who wanted to drive that, uh, the, the, the visioning process, Nirmal. And that's what we are here. And I think uh, last uh, 18 months has been very exciting in the industry for us. And we have been able to position as the top five companies into the life science space. Absolutely. So uh, five years back, it's, it's always a, mot a, a, a tagline that we speak. Uh, genomics that had to come into clinical practice, which is actually into clinical practice right now. Genomics will be a part of every lab, every every diagnostic uh, uh, facility to, to enhance the patient's uh, uh, outcome. And most importantly, this year, it's not just the molecular diagnostics or genomics aspect that we're introducing, also uh, innovative products in, into regenerative medicine and vivarium solutions where we are enhancing the, the drug discovery process, the animal research segment, also tissue engineering process as well. Um, I would say the challenge is that the dynamics of the business is changing very rapidly and the reason being as you know like people have been talking about new variants entering into Monica, today it's an Omnicron, tomorrow it could be something else and so that leads us to kind of a positioning ourselves as a, as a company that we are rapidly evolving as the, I mean or we should say we are running ahead of the variants you know, so we are uh, getting into a predictive nature as to what could happen tomorrow and uh, we are very fortunate that we have got a great team. I mean, who are actually getting themselves acquainted with where the technology is going to go in the next five years. So uh, that, that way, I mean, yeah, there are challenges, but we are able to really combat the scenario. Definitely, yes, there are, there are very interesting partnerships that we had this year. And one is AZ3D, which is again a 3D printing model for pre-surgical. It's more of a constructs that we built for a, for a clinician to do it before a surgery. And not to uh, forget the bio, which Mr. Sukhdeep talked about, the bioconvergence aspects, the, the point where bioprinting, data science, and genomics meets. It's a technology you know, merger that that point is like revolutionizing the future of medicine. And, uh, and not to forget again, all the aspects of uh, the laboratory process uh, to enhance the whole uh, uh, research practice on the whole. Very, sorry, uh, when we talk about the research, I mean, the most important component is our association with Allentown. Uh, it's a company into animal sciences, and so that's, that's something which is uh, very encouraging. And then we are, we are forging a relationship and working on several projects at this point of time. I think the, the future belongs to us. Like, you know, we are what we always call as a leader life sciences is where the sciences are. So we speak the language, you know, and, and today the purpose was here to, to let the world know what legal life sciences are capable of and uh, we're getting a very great response from the industry and uh, Nirmal can add more into it. Definitely, so uh, rightly said by Mr. Sukhdeep that we really want to make a difference and impact 
into into the existing practices in in getting it we always talk about bench to bed bench to bed application whatever the world's best innovation if it sits in the in the bench it should come to, as an application that is where we are working working on we are facilitating those you know bridging the gaps that will enhance from bench to bed uh, practice and as an application that will really help the community that's the ultimate idea of uh, the vision behind data life sciences